Your dream was always to come up with a, a great idea that could change things? My dream was always to build. I've always been a builder. From when I was young, it was Legos to, um, to growing older and building websites. And I've always built. In Australia, of course, f failure is, is a dirty word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and culturally, that's what's different here? Yeah, I think in the US, you're encouraged to try and try again and to think bigger and to think bolder. And that allows you to try multiple times, even within the same company that, you know, if your first idea doesn't work out and you still have capital left over and you have uh, some infrastructure set up, you can pivot and, and adjust, you know, what your company's vision is and what your company's goal is and try again and try again. And, you know, it's... Try again means you've failed <laughs> and you've failed again, but you're allowed to try again. Well, here they say, they'll say pivot, which is, <laughs> you know, it's often the same team, just slightly different direction or something like that. Or, you know, you call it a day and you say, we learned a lot, we learned how to fail. We learn what goes wrong and you take those learnings and put it into the next, into your next endeavour. Can Australia ever have a Silicon Valley? I, I think Australia can have its version of a Silicon Valley. I think to try and copy the valley is you'll always be second place. I think there's certain tenants that make Australia particularly unique um, just as far as our culture and our proximity to different countries around the world, the stability of the um, the Australian economy, and there's a lot of different things that make Australia a special place. And so to try and replicate what exists in the US, in Australia, you're not going to get the same outcome. Right now, to if you've got a great idea, you probably need resources to find your way to Silicon Valley. And yes. that limits a lot of people. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of opportunities that are lost because you need to be able to take time off work and be able to pay for flights and accommodation, which um, you need to come from some sort of, you need to have some sort of resources to be able to do that. Um, and so it limits the people that don't necessarily have as fortunate backgrounds. And um, you, have, you have differences in opportunities that once you're able to afford that and make it to the US, all of a sudden your company's worth a whole lot more which now just creates a much greater gap between those who have had money previously and those who don't. And all we're doing is widening that gap by sending people off to the US. So if for no other reason, it means that every Australian would have an opportunity to make something exactly. fantastic yeah. if we had our own Silicon Valley. Yeah, it should be that anyone with an idea can, can have the opportunity to succeed. Whereas right now, what we're saying is, anyone with an idea and the means can have an opportunity to succeed, and that's the problem. Hello, I'm Liz Hayes. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.